Welcome to week seven, day three, and I'm at Chepstow for the Welsh Grand National Meeting, and we're going to kick off with this three-mile handicap hurdle. And 0 to 130 at the top, we've got Optimist for Craig Beckwith, Echo Bell, Alex Cherry, Foynes Pickles, David Robertson, Jinka Trail, Martin Hill, Luxembourg, Darren Thompson, Reckoner, Alex Cherry, Fraud, Stu Gray, Karuga, Blank, Thomas Rogers, Arzentals, Darren Thompson, Duty Magdalena, James Shea, Arlington, Tufty, Vinnie Gerard, Zoff for Stu Gray, Soliel Davril for Obi Wan, Glassy Dolly, Ben Benici, Lucky Bell, Obi Wan, and Jovial Apparent for Thomas Rogers. So the Magic 16 then. Facing the starter on the opener on day three, and away we go. And Reckoner for Alex Cherry is the first one to poke its head in front as they make their way towards the first of 13 flights of hurdles that they're going to negotiate on this Welsh track. And Reckoner and stablemate Echo Bell are leading the charge to the first, and they're all safely over the first hurdle with the grey fraud, just the back marker on the wide outside closest to us. But it's Reckoner who's gone on now by about two lengths. From his stable mate Echo Bell, the with the grey Luxembourg is now moving forward into second. And there's also Jinka Trail cl close up as well. In fact, there's a, two or three other greys as well, and this one just tucked over on the far side. There's a grey on the rail, Lucky Bell for Obi Wan. It looks like Darren Thompson has got two greys, just to keep me interested or um, confused or whatever you want to be. Ours and Tiles and Luxembourg, they look pretty similar. I'm looking for things that might differentiate them between each other and can't find a lot to be honest but <laughs> they come past that marker there and make their way down towards the second and a reckoner is four lengths clear from Arlington Tufty who's just about second Ars and Tars on its outside as they get over the second and which they're all safely over again with Soleil Davril now just the back marker Flights of hurdles are pretty well spread out on this track as they get across the third with Reckoner a clear leader by a good three lengths with Luxembourg probably just second now ahead of stable mate Ars and Tiles between the two glassy dolly as they take the fourth and race downhill away from it with a yet another new back marker Karuga Blank. The field is quite nicely grouped with the leader Reckoner about two and a half lengths ahead of them, with Luxembourg in second, Echo Bell third, and Arzentals and Glassy Dolly as they skip over number five. Which they're all safely over again. All hurdling well at this point. As they race up past the stand now, you can see the big screen and the totalisator board over on the far side. Past the winning post, then one complete circuit of the Chepstow track to go, and it's Reckoner who leads by about three or four lengths to stable mate Echo Bell in second, Duty Magdalena is third, then Glassy Dolly four, Arlington Tufty is five and Fraud is six, and then Jinka Tran and four with Biggles, and then Ars and Tars just dropping back a little bit with Karuga Bank, Blank and Soleil Davril, just the back two but they're plenty close enough with a little over a mile and a half still to go, Fraud making a forward move around the outside, the grey and the black jacket but it's Reckoner, who's still in the lead. Foynes Pickles has now moved through into second. Then Echo Bell, Glassy Dolly. The main body of the field are really tightly packed. Probably only four lengths between second and last. But the leader, like two or three, is Reckoner. Or Alex Jerry racing down towards the sixth flight. And over that one they all go. Jinka Trail has now dropped to the back. Winner last week, that one. But currently in last place and widest on the track. And Reckoner leads into the seventh. Over that one they all go. And Reckoner still in front. Fraud is probably now just second, but six or seven wide on the track. And these jockeys on the outside not made much of an effort to get in. And bizarrely, Luxembourg has actually pulled wider. So they're all over that next one. And it's Reckoner is in front. Arlington Tufty is second. Luxembourg is now third again. Echo Bell is fourth. Then comes Foynes, Pickles and Glassy Dolly. And Jovial Apparents after that one with fraud still wide on the track 
and Jinka Trail still the back marker over flight number nine they go they're all safe now with that one with Luxembourg now probably in the lead Luxembourg's taking it up Reckoner has suddenly started to drop back through the pack as Arlington Tufty goes second Echo Bell is third then comes Soleil Davril finds Pickles Ars and Tars now picks up and makes a burst through to challenge for second but stable mate Luxembourg is still in the lead so Luxembourg leads in still wide on the track racing towards the next they take this turn will Luxembourg cut across yes he will he cuts across and he's now probably only a neck in the lead from Arlington Tufty in second then comes Arzentals, Glassy Dolly Soleil Davril after that then Echo Bell Reckoner still trying to stick on in there then Optimist and Foynes Pickles then comes Duty Magdalena Gap then to the back bunch who are headed by Jovial Apparent Karuga Brank Ford Jinkatron making a bit of a forward move Lucky Bell is next and Zoff is now the new back marker but it's Luxembourg in the lead then racing down towards the next flight Luxembourg now being pressed on the outside by Duty Magdalena who's come through to take it over the 10th and over that one they go and it's Duty Magdalena who's gone on from being chased now Foynes Pickles these two up the centre of the track being chased by Jinka Trail Luxembourg and Arlington Tufty over on the far side Reckon is trying to get back into it the one that's got nowhere to go is Optimist over the third last they go and it's Duty Magdalena Duty Magdalena is too clear of Foynes Pickles in second Luxembourg trying to run on in third they've got two more flights to take this is the second last over it they go Duty Magdalena got over it well got away from it well Foynes Pickles is trying to close. Now Optimist has got some running room but was boxed in for a long time. Reckon is trying to run on again. Luxembourg still there. But Duty Magdalena comes down towards the final flight. Looking like she's probably only going to jump it. Gets over it nicely. Foynes Pickles over it in second. Optimist back in third. But this is all about Duty Magdalena as they race into the final half. Final. But now Foynes Pickles starts to pick up on the near side. Duty Magdalena responds there and racing up towards the line. It's going to be Duty Magdalena who just holds on from Foynes Pickles second. Luxembourg third. Optimist for Zoll off finish like an absolute train you wouldn't see a goalkeeper run that fast normally and Arzenthal's drop right back to last and Duty Magdalena takes it by a good long neck to finds Pickles Luxembourg and Zoff who came from absolutely nowhere that's at least three and a half mile hurdles so Duty Magdalena takes it for James Shea, Foynes Pickle second for David Robertson, Luxembourg third for Darren Thompson, Zoff for Stu Gray was fourth, and Optimist for Craig Beckwith was an unlucky fifth, as that one was totally boxed in when it went to make its move in between the last couple of flights.